Hi and welcome to the sixth tutorial. In this tutorial I'm just going to start off by thanking everybody for all the views on Vimeo and YouTube and also the positive feedback and also the very kind donations that people made. Uh, it's really appreciated and it, it'll go towards a good cause. Um, some of it might be in the pub but you know that's a good cause in my books anyway. Uh, yeah, on the branch page there is a lot going on at the moment. It's really after uh, catching on and people are posting lots of really interesting compositions and uh, problems and solutions, so definitely check that out. Also for the future, um, this website, uh, qcdesigners.com, which has been made by Hands, on which you can find out a little bit more about Hands on the branch page, and he's going to be uh, mainly running the show on this. So you're going to be left in the very capable hands of hands. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be very exciting. And I'll try and contribute as much as I could, as much as I can. But at the moment, uh, with college work, which I'm after falling behind a bit on, and other uh, commitments which are happening in the next couple of months, it will make me uh, very busy. So I might not be posting many more tutorials, but if I do, it will be through this website. Uh, which will also have lots of resources and various other things, so watch out for that. Uh, the next thing I want to point out is LiveView. Um, and LiveView is an app which basically you can download for your Mac and for your iPhone. Uh, I'm highlighting this mainly because there's been a lot of questions about how can you get a quartz composition onto your phone or your tablet Basically, there's no easy solution to this, uh, so this is a bit of a hack a way of doing it. Uh, so you basically start up Live View on your Mac, and this is a sample composition here, which is a little bit like CoverFlow. And once you're, you have to be connected to the network also. And once you fire up the app on your phone, it will eventually show up on the uh, Mac app, and you click. Um, whatever you name your phone is and then also the interactive uh, checkbox uh, once you do that then you can just position up um, your uh, live view frame I suppose you can call it which is basically representing the phone uh, screen and for this one in particular I'm just going to rotate it so you can see it and it's especially uh, much easier to see something in a horizontal uh, mode in comparison to vertical, uh, especially with the iPhone 5, which is just way too big for my screen. And as you can see, you can basically just tap and interact with your composition.